today in our episode, we will attend the unique race nation Burabai. We will talk with the leader of Astana Football Club of this season, Maureen Tomaso. And masterclass from table tennis coach Yelena Pereverzeva is waiting for you as well. Dear friends, we arrived in Shuchinsk where the unique race for strength endurance Race Nation Burabai 2019 starts today. The distance is 5 kilometers, it has 27 obstacles. An additional test is the weather, wet snow and rain. There are about 500 participants and it will be more fun today. Let's go! There are a lot of races as well as swim competitions nowadays in our country. People have already participated in marathons and bike races. They want something more, and this race is what they need right now. The track is the same as last year, but it looks somehow different due to the new obstacles. This is a kind of self-realization. I believe I can do anything that I could not do last year. The history of race nation in Kazakhstan begins in 2016. The very first races were held in Almaty suburbs at the biathlon and ski complex in the foothills of the Transali town. In 2018, the race was relocated to resort area of the Burabai district. This time, participants were divided into two groups, elites, those who are fighting for prizes and awards, and open, people who came for emotions with a desire to wallow in the mud. Next to us, we have the participants who are preparing to get out on the track. These are amateurs. How are you doing, miss? Great. Actually, I spontaneously decided to participate in this. I do not even know what awaits me. This is my first experience. Tell me, please, why would you want to do that? Today is a day off and it is quite cold outside, but you came anyway. Well, we usually run marathons and weekends. However, I wanted not just a simple running, but the one with obstacles. Next, we will start training for the triathlon as well. We want to throw out all the negativity we have as we work all day long while this energy is accumulating. Participants of this race are not only from Kazakhstan, there are also representatives of 10 countries according to organizers. The stable organizational work of the race was implemented by 80 volunteers, while the rules were monitored by 20 judges. According to participants' feedback and responses of volunteers, this is one of the most difficult obstacles. If not bad weather conditions, it would be easier for us. Now we see how the girl almost fell off the heights. You should know that if you do not follow safety rules, you can easily get injured. Hence, there is so much adrenaline. Could you tell me what you need to do with this cylinder? To push it away? You need to hit it with a sledgehammer in order to push it in one direction. Is it difficult? Could I try it? No, we are going to push it approximately to this line. will definitely not be cold as such activity requires a lot of energy. Well, now to the other side, so as not to confuse those who run on the track. As far as I understand, the volunteers around ensure that everything is done fairly. Otherwise, you can take and drag the cylinder with your hands. As a rule, professional athletes and even experts from elite army special forces help to create such obstacles. We had a great chance to talk with the author of this raceway. Next to us is a person who designed all these obstacles. Hello, could you tell me what have you been inspired by? 
Each time, our participants were my inspiration, because they pass obstacles with such excitement that I want to come up with something new. It really goes the way we planned. Today we woke up and realized that it had snowed in the morning. Part of the racetrack was soaked and guys came up running muddy. We got some kind of natural bath. One of the participants is Boris Turin, winner of a similar race in the Ukraine. He says he came to Kazakhstan out of curiosity, power endurance and just to visit the country. Boris, tell me please, why do you need this? First of all, for myself, I like hurdling. And do you feel like a winner when you go through all this way? And what are the main differences between races in Kazakhstan and the Ukraine? Well, the most important difference is that in Kazakhstan they always provide you with a map of obstacles. In the Ukraine, you usually do not know what awaits you. How many people in the Ukraine come to participate in such competitions? Competitions were held at the Olympic Stadium on last Sunday. There were about 5,000 participants. How does your family feel about your hobby? They support me with their eyes closed. Each year, participants get out on the track not only to test their strength, but also to get the right to compete in the World Race Nation. Such championships will be held in London literally after three weeks. Winners, our compatriots from Shuchinsk, Dima Kolomets and Anna Melnik will be there soon. They won the competitions in Almaty and we are sending them to London. Such type of races are held in Kazakhstan only two to three times per year. But there are dozens of marathons. It is our uniqueness as well. If a person does not take part now, then he or she has to wait a year. Climbing a rope over a wall is one of the final obstacles before the finish. Our participants are already tired and therefore this is a very difficult task. Here you understand that the main thing is not victory but participation. According to the race results, the winners of the elite category among men were Nail Bashmakov, Yevgeny Velichko and Dmitry Kolomets. The best results among women were shown by Daria Rasko, Irina Bikova and Anna Melnik. Super emotions. On the third task I wanted to give up and just to go home. And that is all. You continue to go further. For the first time, it was great. Ordinary weekdays make you a little bored as you just sit at your work. But there you have a storm of new emotions which will be enough for the whole year. I see you pretty bounced around on the track today. Yes, a little bit. Was it necessary to prepare in advance or everyone can come here to participate? I guess it was necessary, but I did not prepare. That is why I'm exhausted. You even have a medal. What is written on it? Race Nation 2019 Burabai. Race Nation is a new format for endurance races. It first appeared in the United States and is now gradually gaining popularity around the world. Contests in Akmola region showed that in Kazakhstan Race Nation found its place. Further in the episode, we have a big interview with Marin Tomasov about family, the Croatian national team and Astana matches in Euro Cup. Marin Tomasov is the main figure of this season in Astana team. Croatian legionnaire got into the top three scores in the club's history and frankly rescues when the situation requires. Most of the fans know him only as an excellent football player, but we want to change this information. Martin, very glad to see you here. How are you feeling? Very good, thank you. Gosh. You came from Atarau and just you scored an uh, incredible goal from the center of field. And what did you feel was there in that moment? I, I must be honest, it's a few minutes before this situation, I take the ball and pass and give little stronger pass. In this moment I see goalkeeper is a little away from goal. And next time I say if I get the ball I shoot. And same situation happened and I just shoot and come in the goal. Did you score something like that in your career? Never, this is first time. I think this goal I think you 
score one time in career. You came from Old Trafford, from Manchester, and I think it's a dream for every football player to play there. And just what did you feel there in that moment? Exactly what you say. I think I think everybody want to play on not only Old Trafford. It has few few stadium in the world when you like to play, and Old Trafford is definitely one of them. And of course, it was amazing. All stadium pitch, it's unbelievable. And supporters too, did you hear them? Of course I hear. <laughs> but you try to concentrate on the game and this. But I'm glad that, that we play against Manchester United and it's, it's really enjoy and was a very great moment for all of us. Every time you can score, every time you can play better and you're training for this to be better. So in this moment we didn't score, but of course you play against Manchester. Maybe we were surprised for everything, but in the end we can be, what I say, proud and just continue. What about your physical conditions? Are you ready to play every week and start 11? Yes, of course. When I'm healthy, yes. But it happens some injuries, this, what is in professional football, not. In, a, in any part of life, it's possible that I can, I want mm -hmm. play every game. And in the game against Santa Coloma, uh, I think you were angry a little bit, uh, just you no. came to the field from substitution. We can say i professional, so it doesn't matter, you can be angry. Everybody who on the bench is angry, who is not angry on the bench, he's for me not football player or he don't live for football or for him football is nothing. So you you training your whole life or play, not on sit on the bench. So of course I'm angry every game and I, I'm going to start from the bench or come out. So. But that's normal, you're professional, you do your work, you are paid for that, so I'm blessed, thank God, and I enjoy. And Martin Tomasov in this season and Martin Tomasov in previous season in Kazakhstan, it uh, seems like uh, two different people. And just what's happened in this season? Uh, I can agree with you because when I come, I come in half season and start playing with Stanimir, and of course, it's when you come from other culture, different country, and this all together when you put, I'm very happy how I start. I also start scoring and, uh, and assist. Not so much like now, but of course it's only half season and I didn't pre go preparation time with him. So of course I need adaptation for all this. And last season, I think it's for me in my career, except this one of the best seasons. So I think every season, not bad or something, but I'm on the same level, maybe even this little more I put. So. So that's good, but not good. So next year, if I don't play like this, everyone say, where is this goal? This is, so for me, this is it's unbelievable. And I just want this, this, it's going on how long as possible. In this season, uh, so strong uh, way for uh, in the championship, the Kazakhstan Premier League. And what's happened? Astana is not so good in this, in this year. I believe we will win championship. If not win, it's only because of us, because some Games we lose, we can say like small games, but every game is important. We play for three points. So in two years, how I'm here, I never lose so much games like this year. So something happened with us, and it's only if we lose, it's gonna be reason of our player, us player, because we have everything to improve ourselves and continue play like this. So yes, we can say it's like tight championship because now points everybody's here. You know, three, four teams are here, but I think it's only because we some games come easy, uh, we win and then we lose. That's my opinion and reason why we are now in this. I, don't, I can't say bad situation because everything's our hands. And which football club surprised you in this season? Tobol. They, not surprised, but constantly. When I, when I come here, this, they play like this and they're always on third position. So for me, I can't say surprised, but you know, they doing good job. And you are leader right now in the team. And what about atmosphere in Astana? Atmosphere is always top. We play Europe League. We are fight for first place in Kazakhstan. So we all what they put in front of us, president and, and people in the club, we are doing this and we have no chance. We have a really good chance to again be a champ. We can say three, four languages. So it's difficult to find, you know, when somebody, example, I don't know, Shomko say something funny, Mubele or Dorian don't understand, it's not, you know, but of course, and then this here is English, here is Russian, 
and then this little Kazakh also have Abza and Seika. Mm -hmm. So, who is your best friend and team? <laughs> ah, it's uh, hard to say, but mostly I spend time with uh, Erich, Rukavina, Jarko, Luka. What is normal because they speak my language. They are. I can say for my country because they are from Serbia, but they're similar, it's close, so we are together, but all other players, I say maybe in one club I was in my life, in my career, that we had like this atmosphere and people inside that's all together and... Like family. How do I call you inside the team? Oh. Marin, Mara, Tomaso, yes, it's different, so, but... Our supporters call you Martin Golpastov. Do you know what that yes, means? Yes, yes, I know, of course. <laughs> Very interesting. In past year, when uh, World Championship was going on in, this, in Russia, Croatia team was uh, really unbelievable. We think uh, in Croatia right now, just like a gold generation. And uh, if uh, previous year it was not best team, and just you could be a part of that team, if not this generation. Of course, everybody hoped to call in national team but you say generation this generation what was second it's a long time together so only come few new players young young players or somebody who deserve they invited but 70 80 percent is many years together these guys and this championship they deserve to be second and last they have some bad lucks also in before I know some games they lose on penalty or 190 minutes, but Croatia is like small country, but they make very good result. Not only football, what is the first sport, not only Croatia in the world, but many other sports. So for small country and Croatia makes so good result in this World Cup, it's unbelievable. And your family living in Croatia right now, yes? Yes. Uh, are they coming here and just? Uh... No, they was with me when I first time come all time. But how my daughter start to school, we decided that uh, she continue in Croatia because I don't know how long I will be stay here and if come start school here and after one year I go, then, then she again change school, new new friends. And we decide to better stay at home. And uh, anyway, I'm off and go home, so we have opportunity this. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, but what we can do? Could you tell us about your family, just uh, your children? Yes, I have three kids, daughter and two sons. Now daughter, nine, eight years, son four, almost five, and the youngest two and a half years. So thank God for this, bless God me for this, really. and. Of course, I enjoy every moment with them, and I can't wait to see them, to be with them. So, it's for me one of the most important things in my life. Are they looking at your one games? Of the most, yes. This is the most important thing. Yeah, in my of course, life. of course. Yes. Are they looking at your games? Of course, in every Kazakhstan? game. Yes, every game. Watch my wife. Yes, with kids. Mm, in Croatia, uh, maybe press know about your success in Astana. All right about this, especially the last game, these goals and this statistic. What I mean. Everybody here when I do something here. What do you think? Do you have a little chance to be a part of national squad team? And just if you there? ask me, I deserve to be part of national team. That's definitely. But of course, I hope, and I 100% don't go in newspaper and talk. Oh, I want that they invite me or this. That's not happened. I just training, do on this pitch everything what I, I can do and for my for best for for me. And of course, if come invitation, nobody will be happier than me. But I think I deserve. And you played in Saudi Arabia, yes. really? And just uh, how you can describe this experience? Their football, it's unbelievable how it's popular, how they watch this and how they live for football fans or all this stuff. But also it's hot there, so you must prepare for that kind of life. And it's culture completely different when I used to, be, to live and play. So it's interesting league, I can say. Everyone wants to play in uh, other countries. And just uh, which football team maybe you dreamed to play? Oh, Barcelona, of course, because I like them. Well, when I while I was a kid, so it, if I can choose or to play, it's Barcelona. Mm -hmm. If you ask me. How are you feeling here in Astana right now? Just comfortable for you? Now I'm feeling like I play in Barcelona. <laughs> so that's how I'm comfortable here and how I like it here and how they. I don't know. I like. When I come here, like I come, like I know them for many years, you know, like I'm part of them. So it was amazing, all things this, and I like it very much. And for me, when they 
say to me, well, you want sign contract more? I, I didn't doubt at the moment. I say yes, of course. Barnes, thank you very much for the interview. Wish you to be the best every time. Thank you. Later in the episode, Yelena Perevezima will tell you how table tennis classes are useful and why it is so popular in Almaty. The great thing about table tennis is that you do not need to invest a lot of money in inventory and uniforms to start training. It is enough to find a sports section near the house, which already has records, balls and table. Table tennis requires only energy costs, but all of them positively affect the overall health. Our sport is very popular. Even small children can play it. At the same time, we have people who are 92 years old and they still play table tennis. Our president, Tokayev, was president of the Table Tennis Federation for a very long time and now I believe we are at the peak of popularity in our sport. Here is the video of how Kasim Joma Tokayev plays table tennis quite masterfully. Ping pong is a hobby for most people, but some still choose professional sports. This is an Olympic type and there are athletes in Kazakhstan who were selected for the Olympics. We have already talked about Kirill Gerasimenko and his athletic family. And for many tennis players it is quite difficult to compete with China. It is also important to note that Chinese schools offer ping pong lessons, so it means absolutely everyone knows how to play it. Table tennis is a kind of health therapy for most of Kazakhstan young people. I attach great importance to physical abilities of children. I guess you already know how gadgets have captivated everything. Children come and just do not know how to run. For me as a Soviet person, this is terrible and now we devote particular attention to physical development. Almost all children come to me from an oculist, mainly because eye vision is getting worse from using phones. The ball in the game greatly contributes to the development of eyesight. In terms of health, it is very good for the heart work. It helps to lose weight a lot as well. Many overweight children come to play and throw off 5 kilograms within a month. Not all table tennis players like it when their game is called ping pong, but nevertheless, this name has existed for around 118 years. At the beginning of the last century, there were rather name variations – Gosima, Flim Flam, Wiff Waff. Some scientists believe that the game with a racket and ball originated in England, while others insist and relate origins of the game with Japan or China. Hop, Professional table tennis players have the best possible coordination, second only to tightrope walkers. It is no coincidence that boxers regularly play ping pong to develop a high reaction speed. Sometimes the table tennis ball speed reaches 120-170 km per hour. One child recently came to me who is only four years old. Usually I draw attention to physical abilities and reaction. I advise six years old and all the children to come to play. Because they already have their own mind in their head and it is a great pleasure to work with them. Our dad is an honored trainer of Kazakhstan. Since he is a coach, he brought me to the gym when I was five years old. However, I was a little child and could not play properly, hence I did not like it. I started to play when I was six and now I am 43 years old. I am still doing what I love. It can be concluded that table tennis is a game for those who help. While playing table tennis, it is impossible to think about anything other than the game itself. There is just no place for all other thoughts. The video of the week completes our today's episode. Well-experienced extreme skiers Sammy Ortlib and Will Wesson temporarily turned their skiing into water skiing. The reason for everything is a desire to ride, even if it is not the season.